selling office furniture. That was the first, which almost ended, well actually it did end. I did 1.2 million my first year and only made like a very, very small profit. And I was just like, uh, this is not gonna work for me. Because the year before, I sold one fourth and made way more money selling used furniture. And I was like, you know what, this is the ticket. I am going to sell used stuff. And that put me on the path of getting into the storage auction business, which I was in for almost a decade. I've officially been doing this YouTube thing, online entrepreneur thing, longer than I did the Atlanta entrepreneurship thing. Because that's why I say, I really don't know because my last decade almost has been online, which you could do anywhere, any place, any time, as long as you have an internet hookup. So I don't really know what the current state of being an entrepreneur in Atlanta, because I make my money online. And when I had the live experiences, I didn't have a lot of people, so most of my clients and customers are not in Atlanta. The overwhelming majority, they are elsewhere. Thing I can kind of tell you how it used to be. You kind of, you know what? I'll tell you why I started being an entrepreneur. I'm not a corporate dude. I dropped out of college. I just didn't really fit me. And when I got thrust out of the job situation where I had to figure something out, I knew that corporate America wasn't going to work for me. I didn't have the training, I didn't have the education that they wanted, so I had to create something of my own, which drove me to selling stuff. So if you and even online, like, you know, I hear, I don't know anything about affiliate marketing, so don't ask me for a course, because I don't do it, I don't know anything about it. I may try it, because I fundamentally feel if I'm going to create a course and teach you how to do something, that I should be good at it. I mean, that's just how I think. But, you have many people who um, say that, marketer is one of the best ways to get experience making money online and what is it what is affiliate marketing you're positioning a product to be sold it's still sales long way to go around that but I would say if you move to Atlanta and you want to make some money this city is very much about service businesses it's very much about sales, it's very much about tech, but if you're like doing like regular labor, uh, you could be in some problems. You could have some problems and some consequences. You could have a situation because a lot of the labor jobs are hit, hit or miss, they're not very reliable, they don't pay much, and they're here today, gone tomorrow odd situation so to speak but if you want to be an online person now consequently, consequently Atlanta is really good for that because there's city there's scenery there's clubs if you're in the music you, this, this could be your place but the thing is you're going to have to have a lot of talent that's just it or you're going to have to be in music at a level maybe you're into distribution or something like that just coming here like hey I got bars everyone here has bars everyone is doing some stuff everyone is trying to shake some stuff up everyone's trying to be a star everyone's trying to be a rapper everyone's trying to get on TV uh, Walking Dead Marvel movies you, you have all of that going on and it's a uh, hit or miss so if I was just moving to Atlanta, what would I do? I would get a sales job. I would find some type of commissioned sales job. 
and I would become very good at it because that is a way that you can make a lot of money with very little education, very little experience. And I mean, there are these so-called loser sales jobs where they don't offer you a lot of support. If they have a good commission structure, if they pay on performance, I would crank it. I would not do life insurance. Life insurance is going to take you some time to amp that up. I would not do real estate because it's going to take you some time to amp that up. And you're going to have to put, you're going to have to spend money. You got to spend money for cars. You got to spend money for listings. So I would not mess with that. And that's would be the ticket. Now, the best ideal is to be an entrepreneur somewhere else with something up and running and then move to Atlanta. That would be your best bet. Because you will come here with money, you will come here with cash flow, and then you will begin to see how easy it is to exploit Atlanta. That would be the real ticket. Finding jobs here, I have a few friends, and they always complain about finding jobs. Because I, I have two groups of friends. The, the group of friends who are very corporate, and they are set. You know, as long as they do what they need to do, they're going to get their 20, 25, 30, 30 years. They're going to get their corporate pension retirement. They're good. And then I have another group of friends who got thrown off the corporate plantation, and it's been a struggle ever since. And incidentally, one has a degree who's been thrown off the plantation. One doesn't have a degree. Then the two who are really doing well corporately one has a degree, one doesn't. It's, it's funny. So I don't think it's so much your education. I think it's your positioning. Where you can get in and where you can shine. That's very, very key. Because you move here and you don't have any credentials. You don't have any skills. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very, very hard. It's going to be demonstrably... It's going to be ugly. It sure is. Because... One of the things is that someone put in the comments that people move here and think that the opportunity is literally for everyone. The opportunity is not for everyone. The opportunity is for those who know how to hustle. And I mean, hustle, result-driven hustle. Let's say it that way. Your hustle gets results. You out here hustling with no results, there is no place for you. There is none. And I think that just kind of throws people because there's this expectation that, you know, my hustle is, I'm grinding, I'm doing this, I'm making these things happen, but you're not getting any results. And that's just not going to fly here. That's going to be a very nasty little situation. That's going to be... You're going to be moving back home in six months to a year. That's what it's going to be. So I would su suggest that if you come here with no skills, you need to have some serious support. You need to be situated where someone's going to help you. Someone's going to be there for you because you're going to need a lot of help. Because... You know, as I go through my city of Atlanta tours and I chop all this stuff up, it brings back so many memories of my struggle. And I did not stop struggling until I created my own income. It was always a struggle. I look at being an entrepreneur. I look at it and I'm thankful, but I'd rather struggle as an entrepreneur than to struggle as an employee. Because I get to choose my struggle and I don't have a struggle forced upon me. I don't have a situation of I have to deal with some crazy boss or some crazy corporate plan. Because I remember once when I was working in the labor pool and I will also say that if you move to Atlanta and you're struggling to find work, 
there's these places called labor ready labor pools you get up crazy early in the morning right and then you go sit and hopefully they will put you out meaning you'll get to go out for a job and you'll probably make 50 bucks for the day if you come here with some money and you don't have i, I suggest you do that yeah because uh, if you got even if it doesn't really cover a lot of your bills cash flow coming in is better than you just spending money spending money and no cash is coming in I'll have to talk to some other people about being an entrepreneur in Atlanta because my journey as an entrepreneur ended 2009 because that's when I started this YouTube channel that's when I wrote my first book and I've been becoming an online entrepreneur which kind of interestingly enough I could do anywhere it doesn't really matter if I'm in Atlanta or anywhere. I could be in a, a cornfield in Nebraska and I could do this. I think the backdrop is helpful. The resources are helpful. But that's something I got to think about. I got to probably interview some people. Could happen sooner than later. There's one dude I probably want to talk to. I think I'll do that. So this is some new stuff. Like this is the week of putting out videos and coming up with ideas and just going hard. So what I'll do is I'll find some Atlanta entrepreneurs and I will talk to them and I'll bring them on here. Because as a consequence of being an online entrepreneur, I really don't have a factual basis of what it's like to be an entrepreneur in Atlanta right now because my traditional mode of getting money doesn't require me to be in Atlanta, if that makes any sense. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to try to reach out to someone today. Like I said, uh, this is a very different week. I'm actually got to meet someone in a minute. So I'm going to try to find, let's say, five or six. I don't know. Call the series. Um, who, who can I find? I think I know one person. I don't know if she'll do it. This is about to be interesting. It's about to be very, very interesting because finding online entrepreneurs is super easy because there's so many of them and they don't really even have to be successful. They can just say, hey, I'm an online entrepreneur. They can have a YouTube channel. They can have a blog. They have a podcast and you really don't know what their money's like, which isn't bad because you can appear to be bigger than you really are and that can make you money. That can take you to the next level. So if you want to be an entrepreneur in Atlanta just stay tuned be sure to subscribe I will get some more stuff because if you've noticed I've uh, got a playlist of moving to Atlanta and I'll create another playlist Atlanta entrepreneurs that sounds kind of shaggy it sounds kind of good or I'll call it something else because I would be interested in knowing what is it like to be an entrepreneur in Atlanta today right now because I've kind of morphed out of some stuff and interestingly enough one of my haters was saying you know since he considers himself a business consultant and there's all these businesses stuff look like he would be doing some stuff in Atlanta here's the thing that you you got to understand the best consultants their clients will never ever recommend them because they don't want people to know what they're doing that's something that you know if you've been a high level consultant you know this is true that if you if i was to well I've, I've done it i've helped some youtubers with their channels and they would never like give me a recommendation because they don't want people to know that they were working with me and with alana i've kind of transcended that because i know what it's like to call people i know what it's like to set appointments i know how that process works and on my trek to become a writer, I was moving out of that. I was moving toward from an entrepreneur to a creative. Now I'm a creative entrepreneur. So it's a different journey. But be, go ahead, subscribe, leave your comments, and uh, we'll, we'll shape this up. So with that, I'll catch you later. And let's see, what, what, what today's special is you know since we're talking about moving to Atlanta the never broke action pack I'll
put some discounted somewhere and it'll be in the first comment. So you just look for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.